Live look now at the state capitol. Governor Newsom either signing or vetoing the last of more than 830 bills this weekend. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts has a closer look at some of the governor's last minute decisions. The governor signed the last 32 bills on Saturday for a total of 770 laws signed and 66 bills vetoed. But in addition to which bills he vetoed, it's the number of vetoes that has some talking. Yeah, I was surprised actually. Uh, just shy of 8% of the bills were vetoed this year. And lobbyist Chris McKaylee says that's half the number of bills he vetoed in 2019, the last normal session. Of the last minute vetoes, which came Friday during the Giants Dodgers game, the most controversial veto might be of a law that would have expanded Cal Grants, California's college financial aid. He cited one of the most often cited reasons by any governor, which is something that has a significant impact impact to the state financially should be done as part of the state budget process. But the governor left the door open for continued discussion. He also vetoed a bill that would have decriminalized jaywalking and one that would have allowed bicyclists to roll right through stop signs. Are there any bills that you think the governor purposely held to the end, hoping they might fly under the radar? Well, I think certainly the ones that are a little bit more controversial often get held until the end. Of the last minute bills, he did sign. The biggest talker is one that requires ethnic studies for all public school students. It faced significant opposition and was vetoed last year by the governor, but was significantly revised this year. Another talker, the governor signed a bill that will require large department stores to have a gender neutral section of toys and child care items. It also faced opposition from conservative groups, but was ultimately significantly watered down. Uh, the fact that in its current form got signed was not a total surprise. He also signed a law that prevents police from blocking journalists from covering protests, a law that makes it illegal to harass people entering vaccination clinics, and one that ends surprise billing for vaccines and COVID tests. But maybe more noteworthy this year was the record speed at which the governor got these bills signed. In an unprecedented move, at least in the 20 plus years that I've been lobbying, the governor finished his bill reviews a day and a half before the deadline. And he notes the governor signed his final bills on Saturday, a day and a half before the midnight Sunday deadline. He finished his final vetoes the day before on Friday.